So today we're learning the change of base formula. So some logarithms are not as easy to evaluate. So easy ones that are um, simple to do is something like this. Two to what power would give you eight? Three, so that was the easy one. But sometimes we'll get stuff like this. We don't know what 16 to what power would give us 64, okay? So when we don't know this, what we're gonna do is log of 64 over log of 16. And whatever that answer is, is what the exponent would have to be to get 64. So the formula for change of base is log A over log B. So for number 22, we would write log of 32 over log of eight. Now guys, notice I did not write the base. I didn't put a number here. This is called the common log. What is the base of a common log? 10. So we know that there's 10s here. So we're going to use a calculator to evaluate this. So we pull up our calculator. Guys, go ahead and do control divide so that we get a numerator and a denominator. In the numerator, we're going to type in log. So hit this button here, control, and then hit this button for log. Okay, and we said our base was what again? 10, so we're going to type 10 in. Oh, make sure you're in the box right there. Type in a 10 of 64, and then go into the denominator. We're going to do control, hit that log button. Base is still 10. There we go, 10. Were we doing 16? Yep. Okay. So that's what it should look like and then hit enter. So it is 1.5, 1 1.5. 1 Okay, so we just found that our answer is 1.5. So guys, that is how you use the change of base formula. I want you guys to evaluate each log. Um, Y'all can round to the hundredth. To the hundredth um, place value. I think there's a D right there, hundredth. Okay, so guys, that is change of base formula. What we're doing also is a review, okay? So here you are going to express each log as an exponential. So remember guys, this is three to the power of two would give you nine. So this is three squared equals nine. That's how you would write it as an exponential, okay? You're going back and forth between exponentials and logs. Guys, whenever you have ln, what is your base for an ln? E. So you can imagine an E right there. So you would say E to the power of 1 would give you E. Guys, right here, your, your base is E. So this says E to the power of 0 is 1. And that's true because anything to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys do these. Now, questions 13 through 16 want you to expand. For number 17, guys, it is already expanded for you. So I want you to write condense right here. Please condense number 17. Okay? Now, let me remind you of the rules when we're expanding and condensing. Let's review that real quick. All of these are expanding and condensing problems. So in order to do these, you have to remember the properties of logs. So let's say, for example, I have log of x squared times y to the power of 3 halves over z squared. Let's say I have this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and expand this. Remember, whenever you have multiplication, that means you are adding. So this will be log of x squared plus log of y to the 3 halves. Whenever you're dividing, you are subtracting. 
So log z squared. And remember, guys, exponents become coefficients. So your final answer would be 2 log of x plus 3 halves log of y minus 2 log of z. The rules that we used here, sorry, let me give you the basics again. When you have log of x over y, this is log of x minus log of y. When you have log of x times y, it is log of x plus log y. Okay, remember, this is the quotient rule. This is the product rule or the product property of logs. And whenever you have something like this, this would be a log x. The exponent will become the coefficient. Okay, so these are the different rules that I use to solve this type of problem. Okay, so guys, that's the end of the review. I'm going to pause here. All right, guys, number 15. We're going to expand this ln e plus ln x. ln of e is just one. So this is one plus ln x. This is a little bit different. If it said ln e equals x, that would just cancel out. That wouldn't be true. We're expanding here, okay? All right, here. Another one. What's another one y'all would like me to go over before y'all leave? The argument. Number 25. 25. Okay. So let's work on the inside here in these parentheses. This two will go here as the exponent. So this is just log. I'm just looking at the inside right here. What is four squared? So this is log of 16 plus log of 32. And you multiply these. So in your calculator, what's 16 times 32? So we have 512, 512. Okay, so I'm going to write what I have. Log 72 minus one third log 512. Okay, so this one third will become the exponent here. And do you guys know, because one third, this is the same thing as doing a cubed root. Do you guys know what number? Multiplied by itself three times, it would be 5, 12, 8. Okay, so this is the same thing as log 72 minus log of 8. And then this can be log of 72 divided by 8, which is what? There you go.